Alright guys, it is me, the Tour 24 here, and today I'm doing something a little bit different on the channel. Um, this is going to be like a series where whenever I find an item from my childhood that is basically like a throwback or something, I'll do like an episode like talking about it and stuff. Uh, so I guess you can call, uh, I did do an episode of this before but it never aired. Uh, it was me reviewing the Ben 10 like Omnitrix interactive game kind of thing. So for this one, uh, this is um, this show is called the, that old nostalgic feeling. Um, so this is gonna be the very first episode of it. So today we're talking about the Ronald McDonald VHS tape series that I have from my childhood. Um, so basically, you could pretty much get these alongside Happy Meals back in like the two thousands. Think to like two thousand and like five or so, you could basically whenever you went to McDonald's, you'd always get these alongside Happy Meals, or they're like an extra purchase. Um, but yeah, so I have um, one Adventures of Ronald McDonald, and then this is like Wacky Adventures. So it's kind of weird because there's like an Adventures where Ronald McDonald and then like Wacky Adventures. Who knows? Maybe this like maybe this like a spinoff or something like that. But anyways, um, yeah, as far as I know, there was only one Adventures of Ronald McDonald, which was this one right here, and there was five, there was six Wacky Adventures, but the sixth one was very rare, released on the creator of Sup, Klasky Suppo's website, um, until they shut down, and then they basically, um, they closed down that whole, uh, store, so you can no longer get it. Um, you can no longer get the VHS tape. I don't know what happened to VHS tapes 3 and 4 because I did own those two VHS tapes but I don't know what happened to them. But I will be basically buying them again so you'll, you'll still hear my thoughts about them in the video but I'm going to be buying them again off Amazon sometime soon hopefully. So I have those in my collection because these are, these are something that I actually want to keep for a while because these actually do bring back a lot of childhood memories of mine. So, um, yeah, let's get started. Let me turn down the music volume a little bit. Alright, so, first off, starting off with McTreasure Island. And by the way, this music is Creative Commons by Josh Woodward, so I'm free to use in the video if you're wondering why I'm using it. Um, this is California Well, by the way. Anyways, this first one, I actually did not find at McDonald's. I actually found this at uh, on eBay. And um, it was a half an hour special. It's basically recreating the story of Treasure Island in 30 minutes um, with uh, young Jim Hawkins in it. Um, it really was a creative story. It captured like the true elements of like the old like 60s McDonald's commercials. Not 60s, like 1980 McDonald's commercials. Um, where Birdie was always wearing her flight goggles uh, on her head and um, Grimace was like um, sort of like a lighter purple. Um, and Ronald had that kind of standard like tradition hairstyle. Uh, Hamburglar um, wore a mask, as you can see, and he always said rubble, rubble, rubble in this for some reason. So, um, yeah, Hamburger did not have very much, he, Hamburger did not speak at all in this, I guess you could say, because all he said was rubble, rubble, rubble. But overall, um, it was a pretty fun, it's a pretty cool VHS tape, to be honest with you. Um, it's a good episode to have if you are, if you go to McDonald's often, like, you, or, you eat there sometimes. And it's a, yeah, like I said, it's a good movie. Um, this next one is the first Wacky Adventures of Ronald McDonald VHS tape. And I actually remember, um, 2001, I, um, I believe it was 2001, but it was one of those years, but I picked this up, and, um, I literally watched the heck out of this because it was probably a really good uh, VHS tape. Um, there was like a cardiographic thing here um, where it was like a 
sort of holographic thing where you can move back and forth and like you can sort of see more images of them being like scared or and stuff or like happy I guess you could say but yeah it was like a cardiographic and it was like probably like feeling like this section right here but overall on the tape you on the tape you have um, Ronald Grimace Tika who was an added character so we're um, I don't remember seeing Tika in the old commercials. Um, Birdie, Hamburglar, Fry Kids, who were actually in one uh, McDonald's commercial, I believe, uh, and Sunday, Ronald's Little Dog Sunday. So, um, yeah, in the back it says, Run for your life. That's what Ronald and his pals do on a frightful night in the far flung forest when spooky things start happening. They think they found Shudder in a monstrous mansion, or have they? Ronald steals the movie, stated by Hamburglar. Duh, you love our new pal on the dog. He's a real treat, said by Grimace. It's a high-flying cartoon of the year, said by Birdie. So basically, they're having the characters um, speak to, speak for themselves. What scary tricks are up the sleeve of a young mad scientist determined to win the game Ronald and his friends are playing? Only he knows, and he's not talking for now. So yeah, um, really good VHS tape. Sticker label is kind of like screwed up here because, let's face it, it's an old VHS tape, but it, it's still in great quality and stuff. So yeah, overall, Scared Silly, really good episode. I honestly do not remember if I've ever shown these on TV. But like I said, it was um, produced by Kweski Chisepo, which was the same studio that produced the Rugrats cartoon. <coughs> Alright, next one is the second episode, The Legend of Grimace Island. Um, another really fun episode. Um, you have Ronald with a, basically, sailor hat on. In this one, on the spine of this one, you just had Ronald with his standard look. And they say like, video one and two on the top of them as well. So here's a look at the tops of those. Uh, and on the other side, they just have the McDonald, the McDonald symbol on them. But I kind of have the pattern of like Ronald's shirt on the top of them as well. That's kind of cool. So yeah. Um, anyways, on the spine of this one as well, you have the Ronald holding a book, the high top logo, top. Other spine is the same. So, yeah. Alright, set those aside now. Anyways, um, yeah, Legend of Grimace Island. Another pretty fun, um, episode. Here's the episode. Uh, here's what the episode says. It's wave after wave of big time adventure suit by Hamburger. Here's the description. Grimace, we need your help. It says the mysterious letter from Grimace Island. So off to the rescue. Go Grimace and his pals through stormy seas, a gang of pirates, and giant sea monsters. And with Ronald's help, Grimace finds the courage he never knew he had. So basically, uh, Grimace gets a mysterious letter from an island full of Grimaces called uh, Grimace Island. And basically, it turns out to be one big setup when Grimace reaches there. Um, and it turns out to be set up by the pirates who are right here on the box. Um, but overall, um, it's a, sorry, I was looking at the music to see how, how many songs were on the soundtrack I was listening to. But yeah, overall, a pretty fun VHS tape. Had a lot of good songs in there. I pretty much know like a, oh, all the songs on the Ronald McDonald VHS tapes. Um, so yeah, another really good episode. And yeah, it sets up for a really good third episode as well. Which was, um, Visitors from Outer Space. I'm this one over here. I'll talk about that in a sec. Um, Visitors from Out of Space was um, the third episode, of course. And basically, Hamburger gets abducted by aliens. So Ronald and the gang are forced to come save him. Because Hamburger first tells like a bunch of lies and stuff. And then like they finally find out that Hamburg Hamburger was abducted by aliens. So they have to go in and save him. So they do so. And they end up basically... Um, Saving him, of course, to return, turn home, and everything's 
hunky dory. Um, so yeah, that was a pretty good episode as well. Um, and the side was, I think, I believe it was Ronald wearing a space helmet. Um, the fourth one was uh, Wacky Adventures of the Ronald Down on Birthday World, uh, where Hamburger gets Ronald's gang like tickets for um, a wor uh, amusement park called Birthday World, where they turn out to be a trap um, set by like a mad professor who turns them into kids. And basically, uh, this is where the intro was changed because uh, the first three episodes had like a female singer kind of singing the singing the theme song, and then like the the other the other the last two episodes um, had a Ronald McDonald himself singing the episode um, singing the theme song. So basically, the first three had like Ronald's morning routine, I guess you could say. And then the last two episodes had um, basically Ronald McDonald like as Elvis and like sort of like clips from the episodes, I guess you could say. So yeah, that was a um, episode four, pretty fun episode as well. And then now we have episode five, which is Have Time Will Travel. Which actually um, was a good way to depart the series, since I never got to see episode 6. I'm pretty sure if, uh, if they made it episode 6, they were probably going to make it episode 7 before Klasky Suppo got shut down. Supo got shut down. Um, so, yeah, my camera would focus on this. There. I think my camera has a really good focus, by the way, but yeah. So that's this is a new character right here, Franklin. I didn't point that out in the other VHS tape. Um, but yeah, Franklin is a new character at the end of Scared Silly. Um, so yeah, they. So yeah, you can see the tape is kind of ripped here because I have. You can see the box art is kind of ripped because I have tape here. Um, but the spine is Ronald wearing a cowboy hat. Um, and it says the McDonald's logo, which is kind of ripped right here as well. Um, Beck says, Oops, while cleaning up Dr. Quizzical's lab, Ronald and his pal stumble across a time machine. Hamburger dreams up a crazy scheme to use the time machine and get out of cleaning, and they end up getting lost in time. That's when the real adventure begins. Hitch a ride back in time and made a huge dinosaur, knights in shining armor, old west cowboys, even boogie down on the disco dance floor, and find out why doing things the easy way isn't always the best way. It's a blast from the past, dated by Franklin. Um, so yeah, four, this is four jamming new songs. Um, one of them is sort of like a reprise. And here's the other side, which is like where it says video five on it. So yeah, pretty fun of episode. I really enjoyed it. Let me turn off the light here and stuff and zoom in a little. Probably see, the, see it better a little bit. But yeah. I, I enjoyed this episode a lot. The um, show the top of the VHS. Let me zoom out. Not that like that. There we go. Yeah. Enjoyed the episode. And I think it was a good way to like depart the series, of course, because we never got to see episode um, six. Um, there were there are live action segments in between it. Um, well, for not. Not for McTreasure Island, but for the other episodes, there are live action segments. Uh, like for Scared Silly, um, it's basically um, Ronald trying to pitch a tent and it doesn't go so well, so he ends up um, basically. Um, that's what sets up the cartoon segment. Um, and then the, the live action segment for. Um, Grimace Island that opens up the episode is Ronald building a ship in a bottle. Uh, Visitors from Outer Space is Ronald um, is Sunday watching a scary movie and like I guess you could say Sunday uh, sort of being frightened by Ronald um, like appearing. Um, Birthday World is about Ronald trying to look for his shoes and then they changed up like what Ronald does in and Halftime Will Travel, it's just like, um, 
Ronald's time talk. Like, I guess, like, a talk show that Ronald has in the real world or something like that. But, um, yeah. So, and there's a change of how Ronald enters animation world. Um, because in the first three episodes, um, Ronald basically enters the animation, the, like, animated world by going down a slide and he transforms from live action into an animated cartoon, which I thought that was actually pretty cool. Uh, in the last two episodes, Ronald runs on a treadmill, and basically it's supposed to be like a past event, I guess you could say, because he runs on the, on the treadmill, which powers a monitor, and like it starts the episode up like right then and there. Uh, I don't know which one I like better. I think I personally like the slide one better, because who, because who wouldn't want a slide where they, where they go down and they transform into a freaking cartoon? Everybody would. Everybody would want a slide like that. But overall, the Ronald McDonald VHS tapes are definitely an icon from my childhood, and they're obviously going to be my, my iconic childhood favorites for a while. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of that old nostalgic feeling. I uh, hope you guys stay tuned for the next episode, which will be coming basically whenever I find something else nostalgic. But overall, really, really good VHS tapes. And before I close out, uh, my dad actually, when I had all the VHS tapes before I lost the second and the third and fourth episode, he transported them all. Convert? I said transported. I, he converted them all to a DVD. Um, so basically, they're all backwards on here, but you can watch them in order, I guess you could say. But yeah, there's a uh, McTreasure Island, Birthday World, Visitors from Outer Space. Um, Grimace Island, Scared Silly, and Half Time Will Travel. Um, so yeah, let me actually show you guys. I actually have the DVD set up here. Um, zoom out. So these are all the episodes. All these ones right here. There's only six episodes. Um, we never got to see the six episode of Wacky Adventures, but in general, the whole VHS tapes were like six episodes. If I had my hands on the, on the uh, sixth episode of Wacky Adventures, it would have been seven. But anyways, yeah. So all of them are right here, and there was added. They were added to the DVD in 2007. All right. But overall, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.